when you flip the switch and you start to really appreciate you and look around and realize how blessed you are, you know, what's crazy is that my fulfillment in my life is for free, right? When they say the best things in life are for free, you used to hear that all the time, right? The reason they say that is because everything you need to fulfill you is for free. It's free. It's right around you. But sometimes we so focused on what we don't have that we become blind to what we do have. We so focused on what everybody else got that we don't realize that we become blind to everything that we have. You can always find something to be ungrateful for. The millionaire can find the billionaire. <laughs> the millionaire can find the billionaire. There's always something to be ungrateful for if you're focusing on that. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Nick. I'm done chasing. I'm done with people that really don't care. Yeah. Some of y'all going to spend your whole entire life chasing, man. That's exhausting. I've been there with my life. I've been in all areas of my life. And every time I'm unhappy, I look back and it's tied to one of those four things. I'm either comparing myself. I'm trying to change something that I can't change. I'm trying to control something I can't control. Or I'm chasing something that I don't need to be chasing. So I just, I just hope that that hits somebody's soul that really needs it and brings that that calm into their spirit, right? That that peace, hope floods your mind and your heart tonight. And you just kind of you kind of focus and connect with who you are as a person and work on that person. Inner peace is the greatest success in what we all want. I promise you. It's what we all want. Some of us we think that there's other way, you know, we 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 say we want certain things. But really, the root issue, the root cause of what we want is inner peace, man. And the beautiful thing about inner peace, you can create it. As soon as you stop attaching your happiness to these external things and realize that happiness is an inside job, that you can create any time. That you can create any time. Man, trying to get myself out to it. Yeah, man. I couldn't have said this at a better time. Thanks, Jesse. Some that I that I've been preaching to myself these last few months, guys, to be real with you, you know, because I had a, I've had a lot of unhappiness, uh, you know, previous months. I've had a lot of depression previous months, and so these are things that I had to go on a journey with and think about to myself. And I feel like, you know, I feel like not a not a lot of us. I feel like we spend a lot of time with ourselves. Obviously, I feel like we spend time criticizing, judging ourselves, focusing on things that are going wrong in our life. But we don't spend a lot of time really understanding who we are, right? Understanding why you think a certain way, why you do certain things, why you react to certain things, why certain emotions tend to come up more, why we chase stuff, why we're trying to control things, right? And if I can just tell anybody anything here tonight, is get to know yourself on a deeper level. Spend time with yourself. Ask yourself better questions and get better answers for who you are as a person. Because the truth is, 75% of people don't even know who they are. So will this live be typed up somewhere? I don't know if it will be typed up, but you guys can connect with me, my text message community. Uh, I'm about to go on Instagram right now. You know, Instagram is a little different. I'm going to bring some people on live. So all 5,000 of you, if you want to come on Instagram, if you in, first of all, did you enjoy tonight? If you enjoyed tonight, give me some hearts and some likes. I know, I know this isn't like, hiked up Trent on the trail, but this is more reflective, uh, intuitive Trent right now. <laughs> Drop me some hearts and likes. Thank you so much, man. Um, yeah. One action thing I want to tell y'all in here. One action thing that, that I want to tell y'all to do. First thing when you wake up in the morning, okay? First thing you do when you wake up in the morning is tell yourself, I am, right? I am. And of course, I want it to be something positive. I am peace. I am healed. I am great. All right, whatever it is that you need for your life, first thing you wake up in the morning, don't grab your phone and letting the world tell you what you are and who you are. You tell yourself who you are. I am. I am his, right? Whatever it may be, 
I want you to start talking to yourself like that, speaking life into your life. Because I've seen firsthand, man, when you speak death into your life, some of y'all don't realize that you're speaking death into your life. But when you speak low vibration into your, into your life, right? You, you really set yourself up for your soul to suffer, right? And you become that. And some of us have become and taken on an identity that wasn't meant for us to, to wear or have or any label on our life. And so I just want, thank you, Helen. God changed your life, man. I'm just a vessel. I appreciate you, though. You know, so um, everybody said I need help. Guys, guys the help. And appreciation and gratitude is the way in prayer. I, it's the way. You know, peace is when, peace isn't the absence of problems. It's the presence of God. It's the presence of purpose. It's the presence of gratitude and appreciation. That's peace. But when you wake up every day, just do that. First thing, tell yourself who you are. I am whatever that blank is, whatever you need to, that day. I'm peace. I'm a warrior, whatever it may be. Start your day off with that. Simple, right? Simple. Some of y'all probably like, Trent, that's whatever. Start your day off like that. Because some of you unconsciously, or not unconsciously, subconsciously, you're starting your day off with the things that are really making you unhappy. So how can you expect happiness from the outside world if you can't even create your own happiness? And by creating your own happiness, just do whatever makes you happy. Not whatever makes you happy, but do what fills your soul. And I think a first step is telling yourself what you are. I am. And go from there. So, guys, I'm about to go to Instagram right now, okay? At Trent Shelton on Instagram. It would be cool if, like, half of y'all came over there. I'm going to bring some people on. Who knows what we'll talk about? Maybe the same subject even deeper. But make sure you come to... Um, Make sure you come to my Instagram, at Trent Shelton. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you guys want me to continue to do lives like this, just let me know. Just say, hey, Trent, man, go live more. We need it. And I promise you I'll show up, all right? Remember, when it comes to being unhappy, when we try to control things we can't control, we become unhappy. When we try to change things that we aren't meant to change, that we can't change, we become unhappy. When we start comparing our life, we become unhappy. And when we're chasing things that aren't meant for us to catch, we become unhappy. Hope that helped a bit tonight, all right? It all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it. Instagram right now. Let's go. At Trent Shelton.